tomorrow night. They'll play three exhibition games there, then head to China for the World Cup, which for the U.S. begins on September 1st against the Czech Republic. Gasol taps back, Ricky, Rub Ricky Rubio gathers, and we're off and running here on a Friday night in Anaheim. To turn things around for the senior men's national team, the blue team last week, Gasol will take the shot, beats the buzzer, and we have our first points of the game. Mark Gasol on the board. This entire USA basketball experience, he's going to be the one on the defensive end as they point guard being able to disrupt. We know what he can do on the offensive yes. end. He can create his own and get easy buckets for Team USA. Also defend, you know, multiple positions anywhere from two through four. So he's going to have to play a lot of minutes. Joe Harris is a fantastic shooter, but Middleton can do it both on both ends, offensively and defensively. We talk about passing from Ricky Rubio, and they have a fantastic guy in Marcus Gasol from the center spot who also can facilitate. Quick shot for Donovan Mitchell. He knocks down the three. U.S. retakes the lead at 10-8. Walker guarded by Rubio, gives it up, gets it back. Middleton will take it and knock it down. Chris Middleton for the U.S. Stripped by Colbert and Rubio has it, doesn't have numbers. We'll think about the three, he'll try the three and knock it down. Ricky Rubio hits the three. Their first make in six attempts. Coach Popovich called it a good lesson. As Smitty referenced earlier, the FIBA game shorter, just a 10 minute scrimmage teaches the guys they need to get off to a fast start and they can't take any game for granted that size for a point guard position and athleticism and the game has slowed down for him he's so comfortable i think he's going to be a difference maker and there's sergio with a nice pass he is really good that's willie hernan gomez now no you're hernan gomez I'm, I'm going by the hair. Spin. You know, this, Willie has a little bit of touch of blonde yep. in his hair. Joe Harris setting up Turner for the dunk. Nice look for Harris, who's over. Comes up short on the shot, but winds up back in his hands. Here's Lopez. First shot of the night. Three. That is right. Plus 11 on rebounds in a quarter. Here's Rebox. Had that hard fall a moment ago. Brooke Lopez back in, hands off to his Bucks teammate, Chris Middleton. And back out to Jason Tatum. Middleton has it, goes baseline. Sets up Brown for the dunk. Jalen Brown flying in. Brings it up for the Americans. Walker over to Tatum. Quick drive and he hammers it home. Knew exactly where he wanted to go with it. Uh, Matt of turning, and as he was younger, sometimes you take that bump and you can't go through contact. And they're basically two arguments, right? One is that you want to do it tonight after the game, maybe tomorrow morning, and let the two players who aren't going to be involved definitively get on with the rest of their summer. Years that they have lost over the last few weeks, a couple of injuries away, and you don't want to be stuck in Australia or China and have to make a phone call and hope somebody can scramble to get on that roster. They have up until 48 hours before the first game against the Czech Republic on September 1st to finalize the 12-man roster and then as you know if there's an injury beyond that you just play on just with 11 on or 10 or whatever you have left great pass great look from y'all comfortable lead but you're still just up 10 and that definitely can change you got to keep playing with your principles and understand this Spain team will come back and Donovan Mitchell with a fantastic move and finish Donovan Mitchell may have the moment of the night so far the U.S. with a big lead here in the second quarter. Very quick turnaround for most teams for NBA training camp. And I think that, that was a difficult part. To the decisions a lot yep. of players have made this summer to pass on the World Cup. Tatum knocks down the three. It's a 16-point U.S. lead. U.S. can't quite shake the Spaniards. Mitchell gets a pick from Turner, glides in and finishes with the right hand. Speed. A hand in there, and apparently cleanly as Rubio brings it back for Spain. Rubio will put it up and in. Count the bucket for Ricky Rubio. Productive second quarter for Rubio. Nice job by him, and you can see Donovan Mitchell. They played against each other. When the guy is driving, it's hard to bear the game momentum to stop. For the red, white, and blue. Over to Joe Harris. Turn the corner. Gives it up to Turner. Another good dish from Joe Harris to set up Turner. Come in and take away their execution. And just methodically grind this one to a, a bigger lead for Team USA. Rubio turns the corner to set up Gasol. And that is turned away by Turner. Gasol gets it back. 
and connects. But what a great reaction by Miles Turner, the 31 year old veteran. He's still, I guess, technically property of the Houston Rockets in the NBA. He was a second round draft pick back in 09, but has consistently decided not to go over to the NBA. He's in his home country, making a good living, playing pro ball. And I would say for the last, I would say 10 years, you've heard talk about how good he is, and I've witnessed it. Kemba brings it back for the U.S. Plumley has it. Over to Mitchell now. Screen from Plumley. Floater from Mitchell is up and in. International play. They're not set strong. You can see they're kind of like in a constant movement. And sometimes it's hard, and that was a beautiful play by Spain from Rubio on the pass. Rubio. Gomez defended by Tatum back out to Rubio, though. Yo, from deep. Sergio feeling it. Well, they're back in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Defense. It brings a physical element, which they could use right now, because we got bodies flying all over the place here while Jared was talking to Marcus. Yeah, get a little physical, and you can see Team USA doing a nice job. The league was cut down to eight. Point guard in his two seasons. He's averaged 8.5 points, 48%. Um, started a lot of games for the San Antonio Spurs and played well in the playoffs. Cologne was born in the Principality of Andorra, which is wedged between Spain and France. Population under 80,000, and he was just beaten by Derek White. You say something. And that's not even a questionable screen. No, that's that a good was NBA a good screen. screen. Yeah. Fernandez for three. Rudy knocks it down. Brooke showing his size. Nowhere to go for Gomez. Good job of moving it. Good. This is good basketball. Right to Lopez. I thought Brooke Lopez had his best defensive season in the NBA last year. Not just blocking shots, although he did that really well as Fernandez is starting to heat up here. The veteran. Bottom part of the rim, back comes Spain. Kino Colom handles. Into the paint, floater is up and good for Kino Colom. Short range, shoot a floater. As many of you know as a point guard, you got to make that decision, right? You turn the corner, you, you deal with what's there or not there in that case. This is the backcourt most expect to see when the World Cup begins in China. Walker and Donovan Mitchell. Walker knocks down the short Kemba little jumper. And Kemba is now. Kemba with a screen from Turner. Mitchell for three. Got it. Three Donovan winner. Mitchell. Now with a dozen, he's hit two of three from the great beyond. Fernandez up top, Hernan Gomez over his head. Again to 11, Harris caught up in the air there and sends it to White. Scouting report by Spain, do not give him an open yeah, shot. They, they, they find Joe Harris when he finds the ball makes its way to him. Juan Hernan Gomez has it, back to Rubio. Five of the shot clock, Rubio out to Gasol. Here's Yol. Sergio Yol knocks down the three. That was his first three attempts because they've done such a good job closing out on him. There's White at the rim. He finishes off that play. Turned right into Plumley. No foul call. Rightly so. Just lost the ball. Tatum in the corner now. And it's good. Man, that kid is good. I mean, Jay Rubio will try it. Air ball in the U.S. can run out the clock. A lot to like about the U.S. tonight. 